COVID-19 restrictions eased in Qatar, according to the latest, latest updates. No need of masks inside malls. Qatar eases the COVID-19 restrictions. According to the meeting shared by the Prime Minister and the Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Karim bin Karifa bin Abdulaziz Al Thani shared the cabinet regular meetings held at Amel Diwan. According to the meeting, after reviewing a report to the Supreme Committee for Crisis Management regarding the plan to gradually lift the restrictions imposed as a result of the corona pandemic, the cabinet decided to ease the restrictions, further including removing the mask mandate inside the malls but it is still required inside the shops. These decisions will come into force from Saturday, April 2nd, 2022, and will be in place until further notice. Entry to closed public places is allowed according to the following. A. All citizens, residents, and visitors who have completed doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, those recovered from the disease, and people whose health conditions prevent them from taking the vaccine based on the medical report from the authorities determined by the Ministry of the Public Health. B. All citizens, residents, and visitors who did not complete or did not receive the COVID-19 vaccine are allowed, after conducting a rapid antigen test approved by the Ministry of the Public Health, provided that entry does not exceed 20% of the capacity. This is the following closed public places, physical training clubs, gyms, sports event conferences, exhibitions, and events. The rapid Tests should be conducted within 24 hours prior to entering the closed places. By the way, if you've not subscribed to this channel or if it is your first time to come across this channel, please, it's makes from the Max creation. Consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will be the only way that you'll be updated when we upload a new video. In two, continuing to adhere to the requirements set by the Minister of Public Health for holding any conference, exhibition, and events. Three, continuing the work of the all employees in government sectors at all at their places of work and allowing all employees in public sector to carry out their work at the place of work. Continuing to obligate all employees and workers in the public and private sectors to conduct a rapid antigen test approved by the Minister of Public Health on a weekly basis for those who did not receive a complete doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. Employees and workers who have completed doses of the COVID-19 vaccine who have recovered from the disease and people whose health conditions prevents them from taking the vaccine based on the medical report from the authorities determined by the Ministry of the Public Health are ex exempted from the test. Number five, obligating all citizens and residents, visitors to wear masks in closed public places except for malls unless they are inside shops and not obligating them to wear masks in open public places. All workers in facilities whose nature of the work requires being in open spaces and communicating with customers must wear masks during their work period. Continuing to obligate all citizens, residents and visitors to activate the Etheras application on smartphone when leaving the houses for any reasons. Number seven, continuing to allowing uh, to continue to allow the holding of wedding parties, the Minister of Interior, the Minister of Public Health, the Minister of Commerce and Industry, and other government agencies, each within its judication, shall take the necessary measures in this regard to ensure compliance with health requirements, procedures, precautionary measures, and established uh, controls. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it makes Mix from the mix creation. See you again in the next updates as we try to, to see more of the updates from around the Gulf country. See you again in the next video.